right, here we go. Which, by the way, you're gonna notice um, my pedal is no longer a deceleration pedal like a traditional dozer. It is actually controlling the track speed and the transmission. And the reason I've done that is in applications like this where you're hogging a bunch of material. Ooh, there's a big old stump. Um, when you're hogging a bunch of material like this, if I had the decelerator depressed, I would be on the front side of the power curve of the engine. And so as soon as I hit a pile and it gets tough, or I hit some hard clay, which I'm doing all over the place out here, you have this like couple seconds where the engine has to kind of rev up and get its power and then you start pushing versus in this mode as soon as I because the engine's already at full throttle um, like right now is a prime example you see there's not really any hesitation I mean we just start taking off and start pushing now your knee-jerk response is to think that you're wasting a bunch of fuel because you're running at full throttle the reality is all these new modern machines have an ECU module that's controlling fuel to the engine and it's only using the amount of fuel necessary to keep it at full throttle under whatever load it's under. So if there's not really much of a load, it's not just dumping fuel into the engine and it's not burning fuel like crazy like you would think. And so you really get the advantage of being right in the power curve at any given moment when you put it in this mode. Now, tomorrow when I go back to doing fine grading, most likely I will put it back into decel mode just so I don't have to listen to the engine scream all day. But but today I've been hogging so much dirt. This is a, this is a much more efficient method for me. The other thing I've adjusted, ooh, there's that, oh, oh. The other thing I've adjusted on this machine, and, and you've heard me talk about it before, good operators don't just get in a machine and, and take for granted they've got the best settings and everything's the way it needs to be. Um, this thing, you can you can set the sensitivity on the hydraulics, Cat and Deer I know have the same setting, I'm fairly confident Komatsu does as well. But I actually went in and put this into fine mode, um, or smooth I think is what they call it. And this thing just grades like a dream. I really, I know I, I say it, I will continue to say it, I love case dozers. They push, I mean, you, you can see we're not getting any track spin right now, even though I'm really bogging the machine. Um, but the finesse of the blade, you know, this is, this is the equivalent to a D6K that I'm running right now. It's an 1150 and you know, D6Ks are notorious for having that super jumpy blade. It's really hard to fine grade with it unless you've just got a tremendous number of hours and seat time on that specific machine. Versus these case, uh, these case dozers are just so easy to grade with. They're super, super nice, smooth controls. explain what this dozer does um, you know in a, in a deer or a cat right about here where you're really bogging the machine you start getting track spin like crazy and these case machines I don't know if it's the balance I don't know specifically what it is 
but they just seem to dig in. I mean, I've only slipped the tracks on this thing probably three times today, and it was just, I mean, it was almost going straight into that massive pile we had here earlier before I finally got the tracks to spin. It just, for whatever reason, it's almost like it squats down and, and digs even harder and, and, and applies that force going forward. It's just, these are really, really good dozers. The one complaint I do have, um, and I don't know how well the microphone's picking it up or not, but it is a very loud cab. Um, I was trying to listen to the radio earlier and it just wasn't gonna happen. So it is a very loud cab. I, I do not like that aspect of the dozer. But from everything else, from a balance and power and, and ease of grading, these are just phenomenal dozers. to dig a pit to bury it, but it's not fun to track over. Yeah, see how there's no hesitation? We just, we just start pushing. That is what that uh, running at full bore does for you.
I haven't put any of this footage on the computer yet, so from my excavator footage the other day of doing the outside drone view, I still haven't seen it, so I think that's going to be kind of a fun perspective. I'm looking forward to it. Now that I've got material dumping off the left side, I'm going to straighten my blade back out. 